is going on YouTube? Hope you guys enjoyed the video we had yesterday. It was Denmark Snack Crate, and today is going to be Speaking Sunday. So let's get that started. Okay, but before we get started, <clears throat> I wanted to apologize for not uploading last week. Uh, Speaking Sunday had something come up, but don't even think that I'm going to stop <clears throat> like I did before. We're going to get these videos a popping, and we're back at it today. So, oh yeah, I also wanted to say, uh, sorry for not, I noticed at, on my last Speaking Sunday video, I did not pray at the end of it, and that's something that I need, want to do after, in, at the end of all my Speaking Sundays, so I'll make sure to do that today. Today, it's not really a certain topic, I just want to, you know, get some stuff said. And, yeah. Hopefully in future videos it'll be more topic related. Like certain topics we'll talk about it. But for this video it's just going to be kind of mix match. Mix matched. I'm getting my words mixed up today. But let's get that started. <clears throat> so the first thing I wanted to say. Thank you Lord for everything that you do for me. And hopefully you guys thank the Lord for everything that he does for you. If the Lord does something for like if something good happens in your life thank the lord if you think that it's bad it's probably the lord taking that out of your life to make it better for you you probably don't understand that like if you're wanting something that the lord ain't gonna give it to you it's probably because it's not best for you you just gotta trust it's kind of hard to understand that but the Lord knows what's best for you. You just got to follow his will. It's kind of how that works. Whoever believes in the Lord <clears throat> shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Do you believe in the Lord today? Because I certainly do. There's so many people in this world that does not believe in him. And it hurts to see so many people live life without the Lord. Like. It's sad to know that these people aren't going to make it to heaven. And that's what our whole goal is, to make it to heaven. Because you don't want to go to hell and burn forever and ever and ever. You want to go to heaven and worship the Lord and have joy. That's how that, like, why would you want to worsen yourself by not trusting in the good Lord? Who gave his life for us. Like why would you want to. Not trust in him. And then risk going to hell. Like why, why would you do that. Like seriously. <clears throat> you need to. Cry out to him. And get, get right with the Lord. And your life will change forever. I promise. Thank God for the word. And the blood. You should thank God for this Bible right here. Everything in this Bible is true. And the Bible is what everyone needs to read. I've not read it all. That's something that I really need to do. I'm working on it. I'm nowhere near close, but I try to read. Uh, I do need to read more. I'm not going to lie there. Everyone should read more. And you should, all, you should also pray before you read because you can pray for the understanding of the word. But, um, and think, like, the Bible is basically basic instructions before leaving earth. It's kind of <laughs> what the Bible means, you know? You, you need to read all that. It's like the instructions before, you know, you go to heaven. And thank the Lord for the blood. If you really sit and think about it. Jesus, God sent his son, Jesus, to die for us. Think about this. He was literally whipped and hung on the cross for us to live. Like, just think about that for a second. Are we really not going to worship the Lord? After he done that for us. 
Can we not give a little bit back in return to him? That's all I'm asking. Okay. God had the perfect sacrifice. He really did. I mean, like I just said, he gave his entire life for us, and then he came back on that third hormone. And rose again. We should thank him for everything that he does for us. Okay. Getting off... Well, it's not really getting off topic, but... When you're in church, if you go to church, don't be scared to raise your hand and praise the Lord. No one's going to judge you in church. If they do, then they're not really a Christian anyways. No one should judge anyone or try their best not to. God's the only person that can judge us. Okay. Seriously, though. Raise your hand in church. If you're feeling the need to raise your hand and when you praise the Lord, you go do it. If God tells you to do something, you do it. That's how I think about it. There is sometimes in church that I feel like I want to raise my hand, but then I don't. And then you feel bad for not doing it. So you just do it anyways, and you'll be all right. <clears throat> do you love Jesus Christ today? Because I do. Hope you do too. He restored my soul. He can restore yours also. I came from the bottom, and now well, I'm not going to say I'm at the top. But I'm definitely better than what I was before. Because I definitely was not a Christian man once before but i am now and hopefully i can spread the word to everyone <clears throat> god willingly you know we didn't get out of bed on our own this morning folks if you got out of bed there's a reason you got out of bed not everyone got out of bed this morning think about that <clears throat> you are blessed to see another day alive if you, god woke us up this morning for a reason don't waste it and don't Waste it on doing something devilish. You don't have to come home the same way you came. Do you know what that means? If you go to church, you don't have to come home the same way you came in that church. You do not. If you're wanting to get saved, if you feel that need, please do it. You have no idea. How much better your entire life will be and how much it will change for the better. Like, I promise you, I promise you, I was not anywhere close with Jesus. And then that one day, he woke me up. And I knew that I needed to get saved. It took me a little while to come. I wish I would have came sooner. But I finally came. And he truly, truly changed everything for the better. Like, I don't know where I would be if it wasn't for him. So, just trust me on that one thing, please. Praise and worship God. Just praise him. Try to spread his word. <clears throat> be contagious. I've said that before in my last video. Be contagious. Spread the word. Praise him. Good things will come, I promise. He suffered for you and me. He suffered for you and me. One man, Jesus, suffered for us. Can we not give a little bit back in return? Come broken. If you want to get saved, come broken. Cry out to the Lord. Tell him your problems. Ask him to forgive you, repent, and then hopefully soon to be baptized. And you can live that everlasting joy of a life. Obviously, there's going to be ups and downs. I'm not saying everything's going to be perfect if you come to the Lord. But it will be a hundred times better than you was out. I mean, it will be perfect if you came to the Lord and when he comes back and you go to heaven now that's going to be perfect but everything on this world ain't going to be perfect that's just how the world is there's going to be bad in this world no matter what you just need to have that faith in the lord he'll work it out for you you just got to give him time he's not going to do it just have to snap at his fingers if it's not something that he's wanting for you to happen or something like that. I hope I said that right, but like, 
you got to just do it on his timing. It's not your timing. Just trust in him. He will forgive us for all of our sins, but we have to confess. That's what I mean by coming broken. You got to confess your sins. You got to tell him. You got to tell him. I mean, he already knows, but he wants you to tell him. You can't lie to the Lord. He knows everything about your life. Come broken. Confess your sins. Live a life of happiness. Promise. <laughs> okay, live a holy life. If you have the Lord, live a holy life. I'm like, you know what I want when I get older? And <clears throat> I want a God-loving family. Like, if I get married, I want a woman that's going to go to church and worship the Lord with me and study the Bible with me. That's what I want. And I want us, like, I want my kids in the future to know about God and go to church also. And I'm going to try my best to get them to know, like, early going to church. Because I don't want to see anyone. Not only them, I want every one of my family, every one of my friends, everyone to become a Christian. If the life was full, all Christians, the world would be so much better. And that's not even a lie. Like, there's so many people in this world that's cruel. Like, all the things that I've seen on the internet here in the past few days about the dog who got his ears cut off by these two men, took pictures with it, horrible. Why would you do that? That dog did nothing to you. And then about them horses, I'm sure everyone knows about that, or some, most people do, about that guy who killed, like, 15 horses, and there's, like, a big reward if you know who done it. Like twenty thousand dollars. Why would you just go out and shoot fifteen horses that done nothing to you? Animals are like if you hurt an animal, I feel as if it's the same way as hurting a human. You don't just go and like like for that dog. You cut its ears off. How would you feel if we cut your ears off? Those guys should have major jail term if it was up to me. Okay, I'm getting way off topic. But what I'm trying to say is live a Christian life. Don't let the things of this world get to you. You know, don't let temptation get to you either. Because that, that can become a hard thing to get by, temptation. I'm going to leave this video with one last thing, and he didn't suffer for nothing. God did not, or Jesus and God did not suffer for us to live a devilish life. He didn't suffer for nothing. Just really take that into consideration. If he died for us, can you at least do something good for him? That's all that I really had in this video today. I wasn't trying to judge anyone, by the way. Please do not think that. And I'm sorry if the video went a little long. But, I don't know, I kind of had a lot to say. With that all being said, I'm going to end the word with prayer. If you guys want to bow your hands, you can. That's up to you. But let's go. Lord, we thank you this morning for waking us up this morning. We thank you for everything that you do for us. We just ask you to watch over the ones that's traveling here today, especially with Christmas coming up and everyone on the roads doing their last minute shopping. Lord, we just ask you to give everyone the understanding of Christmas and don't let anyone have a stressful Christmas and just give them that holy spirit of yours. And just ask, I just ask you to watch over everyone that's in the nursing homes and hospitals lord we just thank you for everything that you do for us we thank you for putting the clothes on our backs each and every day we ask you to watch over everyone that's not living that christian life yet lord we just ask you to help them understand your word and end up coming to you lord we just ask you to watch over us as we go out the rest of this week and just ask you to help us have a holy christmas and just thank you for everything that you do for us we thank you for dying on that cross for us lord we know that you suffered everything just for us. And we just ask you to help us understand what you did for us. And that we can 
give a little bit back in return. We just ask you to watch over everyone here today, Lord, and just help them come to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Guys, that's going to wrap up the video. I hope you stayed to the end. And that's it. God loves you and I love you. See you later.